Hello and welcome to the world of NDE 4.0. My name is Johannes Rana and today is a great day because today I have the honor to actually introduce to you the first speakers of the first international conference on NDE 4.0. Now that conference, it will go for four days. We split it two days in one week, two days in the following week so that you don't get zoomed out. So it will be the 14th and 15th of April 2021 and the 20th and 21st of April 2021. Now, each of those days, we will get about three hours of presentations and we will get an interactive panel discussion so that actually you have the chance to ask all of the questions you want to ask. Now, Actually, the presentations, they will be streamed twice to accommodate all of the time zones we have around the globe. And so just pick the one you like better. Now for the panel, as this one will be live, it has to be one time. But we looked at the panel is actually at a time which actually suits all around the globe. Now on those first four days, we have four different sessions. On the first day, on the 14th of April, we will really get into the general NDE 4.0 topics. On the second day, now we are getting more into the technical basis for NDE 4.0. Day number three, which will be on the second week, meaning the 20th of April, we will get into NDE 4.0 applications within the different industries we have. And finally, on the last day, the 21st of April, we will get into okay all of the NDE 4.0 activities in all of the societies. Now let's get started with the first day, the general topics. Now, if I talk about NDE 4.0 with different people, I will get a lot of different concepts. Some people think that if you use AI for NDE, that this is NDE 4.0. Talk to somebody else, he will say, I use a workflow system and using a workflow system, that is NDE 4.0. Or I use emerging technologies for NDE, that is NDE 4.0. Or kind of vice versa, I use NDE as a data source for industry 4.0, that is NDE 4.0. Now, I always tell all the people, you are correct, but at the same time, you are not correct. Because actually, NDE 4.0 is all of those topics. NDE 4.0 is not a technology you can buy. AI, that is a technology you can buy. A workflow system, that is a technology you can buy. But NDE 4.0 is nothing you can buy. NDE 4.0 is the fourth revolution of NDE. It is a new ecosystem. And exactly that is the topic of Rippy Singh. He will take you on the road to NDE 4.0. He will give an introduction to NDE 4.0. And he will really focus on NDE 4.0 being a new ecosystem and all the different stakeholders we have in that ecosystem. Second presentation will be by Maria, Maria Bertovic. Now, if we think about NDE 4.0 and with getting more and more automation into our production landscape, then, and if we think about, yeah, the role of the human inspector, which we currently employ, yeah, we have the human inspectors mainly to follow procedures. And that's how we are building our level one, our level two, our level three training system. And that is, raises the question, is really this level one, two, three system as we know it? And really thinking just about following procedures, is that still the education system we need for the future? One of the basic ideas of NDE 4.0 or industry 4.0 in general is to give humans actually, yeah, 
what they are good at to solve problems, but to give the computer what the computer is good at. And that is, yeah, really to actually follow the procedures. So kind of we would need a level one, two, three in a traditional way for the computer, to certify the computer, and we would need somehow something to actually enable the human to, yeah, to be the problem solver. And this is exactly what Maria is getting into in her presentation. She's discussing a model how the inspector roles might change with this fourth revolution. Third presentation will be by Bernd Valeske. Bernd Valeske, he's a professor at the Fraunhofer Institute for Non-Destructive Testing, and they have produced a what they call a smart inspect system, which is kind of a flexible NDE 4.0 platform concept. And they they didn't focus on purely automated system. No, what they want to do is really to do intelligent assistance for all the all the inspectors we have. And then to condense all of that information we have kind of into what is really the essence of the data. So just to store what is really essentially important so that that data can then really be processed and then perhaps visualize using AR. Now, one core of such a system where we are talking about NDE 4.0 data, in my eyes, is reliability. And that will be the topic really of the presentation of Daniel Kanzler. Now, if you talk to me, I always say NDE 4.0 is really, it's one of the key enablers for NDE 4.0. And out of two reasons, at least, the two reasons which come to my mind at the moment. If you want to use NDE data for process improvement, for production improvement, for maintenance improvements, you put that data into some statistical analysis, into some data processing. And therefore, you need to know how reliable is that information I'm putting into those processings. So that finally I know, okay, if I learn something, is it really something I learned? And number two, with NDE 4.0 or with Industry 4.0, a lot of companies are going to, yeah, actually really highly customize production. People are even talking about a lot size zero or a lot size one, sorry, a lot size zero. Yeah, that would be funny. A lot size one. So. We only have, we only produce one component of the same kind, and then we switch and produce a different component. So how to really say what's the reliability of such a production, of such an inspection we are just doing on one part? That's a completely new challenge for reliability assessment. So those two points are really what Daniel will be getting into in his presentation. And there is one more really important factor to NDE 4.0, and that's the standardization. And this is where we invited Vladimir Siosko. Vladimir will really get into, okay, all the different aspects of standardization in regards to NDE 4.0. And he does that with a view from all his metallurgic, um, sorry, <laughs> with all his met metrolo metrological knowledge he has. Getting into, with the, in metrology, there is, is already a lot more standardization in regards to the 4.0 than what we have in NDE. And he takes what he knows from metrology and applies that on the NDE and builds up on it. So I think in my eyes, this really makes a really good day for introduction of NDE 4.0 with a lot of different levels of interactivity from the very introduction with ecosystem and stakeholders all the way to yeah 
What's the human role in all of this? How will the human role change? How will the role of an inspector change? How could we produce a, a quite a landscape for NDE 4.0? How to discuss reliability? And finally, how to get to standardization? Now, in between all of those presentations, we actually have three commercial presentations. The first one will be by Volume Graphics. They will be talking about 3D CT in production and its role in smart manufacturing. Afterwards, Olympus will give a presentation about the NDT digital initi initiatives at Olympus. And finally, Dimate, how will an NDT PAX link inspection and process data with AI? Those presentations will be really short. They will just be five minutes. But I think they are also really valuable because they really show the how NDE is NDE 4.0 is already connected to application within the industry. Now thanks a lot to those three, which are giving that that a commercial presentation at that day. But also thanks a lot to all the other sponsors we have, which some of them are giving presentation on other days. And once I'm coming to the other days, I will also present the presentation of all the other days. So thanks a lot for watching. If you have any comments, if you have any questions, feel free to write them down here in the comment section. Next time, yeah, I will talk about day two. And perhaps if you have questions, I will answer them also in that video. And on that day two, we will really get into the technical basics, meaning AI, IAOT, digital twin, what are all those, how are they connected, and so on. As usual, we will find more information in the description. I hope you like this video. I hope you subscribe to this channel. I hope you give me a thumbs up. So thank you for watching. See you soon. Thank you and bye.